Very good afternoon my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. As usual, we just want to keep you updated with our Forex signals in the premium group. This is the premium group and I wanted to share with you the signals that we have sent yesterday, Monday. Uh, as you can see, Angela has sent the signal for sell the EuroCAD at this certain level and the signal was sent right on this here at the blue line and we can see that the take profit level 3 has been already reached and the candles or the market is still falling more and more down giving total of 170 pips of profit those who did not close the trade yet they are now making a huge profit out of it then Angela sent another signal for selling the USD CAD USD CAD also yesterday has taken almost it went down for almost 81 pips of profit and it went down to uh, above take profit level 2 that was amazing the pound usd signal we were not like we were not lucky actually on the signal as you can see uh, the pound usd if i'm not mistaken the signal was sent let me just tell you uh, 2454 245 Four, two, four, five, four. Exactly right here. Uh, the market went for almost uh, 50 pips against our signal. However, Angela sent later the notification to close the trade with 30 pips of loss, minimizing the losses to the maximum. Then CAD CHF has been uh, sent for the buy at that level. CAD CHF right here look at that the cat chf uh, signal was sent right on this blue line and the candles or the market has went a total of 66 pips of profit exceeding the take profit level of uh, 50 pips so it was really a great day yesterday we are doing so well the signals is doing really very good and angela is doing amazing job i'm really thankful for, for what she's doing and i'm really proud of uh, the signals so far really we're doing so well so far and i'm really happy for that if you wish to join extreme trader premium forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details below in the description contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so moving right now to the live trading session i believe to, uh, uh, this week we're going to do some live trading session on the pound pairs and actually i'm late because when i started recording um the pair was actually close to this level of the resistance uh let me tell you guys this is the pound chf and on the one hour time frame actually you know something i'm going to place the sell order right now even i'm late it's fine uh, what I wanted to tell you is I was planning to actually enter right on this level of the resistance as we can see on the one hour time frame We can see that we had here a strong resistance level which was also a strong resistance here as well So we are having here two strong <coughs> resistance levels and this resistance right after this bearish breakout candle That resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance uh, My entry is quite late actually I have marked this level before recording and by the time i finished uh, talking about signals we can see that the pair is falling now for almost like six pips i think like that it's okay not a big deal we are late for six pips anyway because actually this is gonna be a good deal um i'm going to actually and exit my trade with approximately of 20 pips of profit by the way uh, today's live trading video is not about 20 pips a day strategy uh, we are just going to do some scalping session on the pound pairs i think uh, the pound uh, right now is very active and it's very interesting to do some scalping session right on the pound pairs oh good this is another level the pair has reached this level here perfect okay good as we can see i have opened another trade on the pound nzd <coughs> let me show you this my friends uh we can see right here that we had this resistance level i have marked this res resistance level before recording that resistance has also become a support level as you can see right here that support let me just zoom in so you can see it clearly look at that please study this candle by candle we can notice right here that we had this support level that support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle meaning that support is gonna now be 
or become the new resistance level and that's why that's why I have marked this level right here <coughs> at the top of this resistance exactly where I place my trade right here so from that point we can expect from the pound in ZD to continue the fall and I believe the pound in ZD is gonna continue falling all the way until it hit this previous uh, support level <coughs> sorry about that so uh, let me just set my take profit level to be exactly right at the support level so we are approximately uh, looking for $94 of profit and 44 pips of profit as well that should be a very good deal <coughs> let's see the pound CHF as I said the entry was really late if I entered at the right position I could have expected about 25 pips of profit not a big issue <coughs> sorry about that okay sorry about that let me just uh, check the pound AUD the pound AUD now is on a very interesting level I'm going to place the sell order right away um, it's interesting because right now the pound is really good for the short um, let me just tell you right now on the one hour time frame what I saw here is simply here a strong support level and that support level has already become a resistance right here let me just uh, zoom in to show you that those who are following my channel and following my live trading videos they know exactly that when we are having a resistance or a support level for example in this scenario we are having right here a resistance right we had here a previous support and that support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle so this candle here is like a barrier between the support and the resistance now what happened here is simply a resistance number one has been performed and the right way to draw my blue line or the resistance line in a way that the line is touching all of the wicks in this resistance attempt so we are having right here five candles and look at that please if I draw my line this the resistance line if I draw it here at the highest top of the candle here that is not the right way the right way is to draw it in a way touching all of the wicks if I draw it like that for example if I draw the resistance line like that I am missing this tiny small wick here and this one as well they are being out so what I have to do is uh, bring my line lower 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 right now so like that the shortest wick is this one and the can or sorry the resistance line is touching it that is the resistance number one and right now after the reversal the market right now is creating a resistance number two that is the right way to draw my line so I can know exactly where I should place my sell order as you can see guys all of the trades are running in a good profit so far um, the pound AUD is running in nearly of 13-14 uh, pips of profit uh, pound NZD is running in 10 pips of profit and this one the pound CHF is right now 1 pip of profit so it's going well so far um, let me just uh, make sure on the 4 hour chart right now exactly look at the 4 hour chart for the pound CHF we can see right now we had we had here a resistance level and right here a previous support so it's very simple and very quick uh, scalping session it's gonna be this video is gonna be very short I don't think we're gonna exceed 10 minutes let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will again happen with all these running trades so as we can see guys uh, the pound AUD is approaching the take profit level is run it's running currently in 23 24 pips of profit and 51 dollars of uh, profit I'm gonna accept it and take it yeah I missed 10 dollars it's fine that's one of the reasons I like to always close my trade before it touch the take profit just to secure the profit as I'm telling you always now let's wait for the pound CHF and the pound NZD both of them currently running in good profit total of 33 37 pips of uh, sorry dollars of profit I will pause the video again and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these two trades and as we can see right now the pound CHF is going in almost 11 or 12 pips of profit 12 almost 12 11 12 pips of profit with uh, 40 dollars of profit and I'm gonna close it right now with 35 dollars of profit um, the whole point that I want to deliver to you in this video 
is actually trading the pound the pairs is very profitable and in very short time or actually no in matter of no time you can make really good profit of i mean um i'm about to make a hundred dollars in just less than 10 minutes i mean that is that is really great and that is what scalping is really is and i want you guys to always practice scalping the pound pairs they are really very profitable but also please be careful because they, because they are also dangerous um if you are not careful if you are not using a proper wise uh, lot size on your account while you're trading the pound pairs you can actually uh, end up wiping your account so please be careful always guys uh, this video is example of what happens when you are trading the pound pairs as you can see right now uh, the pound and zd is still going in loss i'm still waiting for it to be in a good profit uh, the momentum the bullish momentum is actually stronger right now on the pound and zd therefore i'm going to close this trade once it's become in profit uh, because i don't think it's gonna um, go up right now however just to be safe i want to exit this trade and be in profit so this video is representing a very short and quick live trading session just showing to you how we can scalp using the uh, support and resistance on the smaller time frames especially on the pound pairs these trades usually working better on any pair with a gpp in it um the euro usd usd gpy euro nzd nzd chf might not be the best pairs to apply these kind of setups anyway uh, let me now pause this video and i'm gonna end it with, with the closing of the pound nzd and in case in case we closed it with the loss i'm going to enter another trade just to recover the losses so let me now pause this uh, the video and i'll be back to you shortly and this is the pound and the d as you can see the pair right now in profit and i just wanted to exit this trade uh, there is a reason a good reason why i wanted to exit this trade let me just show it to you guys if you remember at the begin beginning of this video i told you that we are entering this trade because we are seeing right here a strong resistance and we hope that this resistance can keep its position as a resistance however that did not happen and the pair exceeded that level as we can see we had this green candle here therefore i decided that right now it seems like the pound is actually started to making some bullish momentum um the bulls are winning this battle so it's better to just close this trade that is actually very uh, practical um, how can i say that it is a good practice that you should know where you should back up you should know where you should just back up and just exit the trade even with the break even or very tiny small profit that is what i did here i just backed up with the break even without any losses i just wanted to exit this trade because my analysis was based on that resistance however that resistance has been exceeded right here as we can see therefore it's not safe anymore to stay in the pound and zd trade so uh, it was a very quick uh, live trading video just wanted to show you that when, when we're scalping the pound pairs it's very possible to make a good profits very quickly so if you are actually uh, increasing uh, or uh, uh, trading a small account like mine you can finish the day with just t uh, 15 or 20 minutes just like that you have finished the day and earned a good profit from uh, scalping the pound pairs so uh, hopefully this friday i will make another live trading session with the 20 pips a day strategy but uh, until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching